I'm showing you my Breville coffee maker. It's BCG 6500XL is the model number. It has a nice size hopper. I usually have it set up medium for my drip coffee. It goes to fine, extra fine for espresso, up to coarse. When these arrows are lined up, the hopper comes out. Oh, coffee bean came out too. And you can see the uh, burr grinders down in here. Get some better light. That's the heart of the coffee grinder, of any coffee grinder. And I looked at these to see if I could get you a brand name, but there's no identification on them. But it's a high grade alloy steel. And the uh, metal blades are still sharp. If I run my finger inside like this, it's still, they're still sticky. On this side, there's knurling, and it still feels like it would file my fingernail. High quality stuff right here. That's what a person wants to tune into. That's what makes a coffee grinder work. That's a cone shape in there, and that cone rides up in here. The beans fall inside, and the, the cone grinds the beans against these edges. It's, it's called a burr co cone grinding mechanism. Um, this needs to come out occasionally for cleaning. Coffee beans get stuck down inside. So I'll place this back in. Line up my marks, go back to medium for my coffee. It has a uh, catch tray here that the coffee pours down into. The coffee just goes straight down from the hopper right out the bottom. There's a rather small hole here. And this catch used to have a lid here with a hole in the lid but the hinge mechanism here is just a couple little uh, I'd call them ball socket joints and the lid kept falling off I could put it back back on but it would just fall off again and the coffee tend to miss the hole and pile up on top of the lid so I just got rid of the lid it, the lids in a drawer somewhere uh, I just don't use it so I just set that aside. The uh, grinder used to have a timer and a start button. And within a short time after I bought it, the uh, they both quit working. I'm not sure, I don't remember which one went out first, but I uh, took the bottom, I took the machine apart. There's four screws under the foot pads here and then two here. When those six screws are removed the machine comes apart and you can see a circuit board inside here and there was burnt spots where both the start switch and the timer went into the circuit board. So I just snipped the wires and bypassed both of them and wired the 110 line directly into the little electric motor that turns the grinding burrs. So this, this uh, the electronics didn't last very long at all, but the, the heart of the grinder, the burrs, and the little electric motor that drive them still work. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the machine on by plugging it in, and uh, it's going to get a little bit noisy. I make sure my counter is cleaned off. So I'm just going to use it to catch the coffee.
smells good. I keep the coffee from plugging up this little discharge hole here. Occasionally the beans will not settle into the grinding mechanism. So I can usually get it going again just by tapping on it. Something I like is this plug-in. Stick your finger through there, it's real positive. I'd like to see this on uh, all of my kitchen countertop appliances. It's real positive. So that's it. My uh, Brevel XT XL 6500 coffee grinder.